Okay, we'll take a look at the order flow today in Bookmap. Uh, we had the non-farm uh, earlier, so uh, take a look at some of that action as well. Uh, and uh, starting with the risk disclaimer, trading futures involve substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Okay, for more information about Bookmap, you can uh, go to bookmap.com. Uh, we'll take a look in just a minute. Uh, come become a member there. You'll have access to a lot of the free resources. And the uh, way to contact us is through support at veloxpro.com. Okay, if you want to give Bookmap a try, uh, under the pricing tab at bookmap.com, you'll find the basic and the advanced version, uh, 49 per month and 99 per month respectively. Uh, they are billed quarterly, and uh, you get a 14-day trial period with it, though. So uh, you can uh, utilize this, check it out, see if this is something that, that works for you. Uh, you're in the webinars right now. Uh, that's uh, very good because... Um, uh, there's uh, book map shows a lot of information, a lot of data, and uh, some of this data we're not so accustomed to uh, as traders. We've never really looked at historical limit order book, uh, and uh, and book map shows all of this. So uh, in fact, uh, I'm just going to jump right in here. Uh, and what do I mean? All right. So looking at a dome, all right. Uh, most of us are accustomed to looking at a dome uh, in book map. Okay. We, we can see the best bid and offer here. In fact, let me bring up a dome for the ES, okay? And we're gonna compare it right away. All right, here's your dome in the ES, okay? Here's your best bid and offer. This is your level one data, okay? Here's your last traded volume here. Here's your depth on the bid and your depth on the offer. Now, what is this telling you here? Uh, what is this showing you? I mean, these this liquidity here, I mean, this is the market, and this is the current state of the market. Uh, however, it, it, these numbers here, they're constantly changing, uh, and you're not going to have any kind of reference to what's going on at some of those levels. Right? In Bookmap, uh, we visualize this data historically for you so you can understand and now utilize this depth of market data, where in this sense right now, it's rather... Uh, challenging to read and understand. Okay, it takes quite a bit of effort and quite a long time. Okay, in Bookmap, when you look at it here, here is our dome here, right? Best bid and offer right here. Okay, last traded volume right here. Okay, and uh, here's your depth on the bid down to this white line, and your depth on the offer up to this white line. Okay, but we give this this uh, liquidity here. Uh, a graphical rep representation in this window. This is the current market window. Okay, and then we take that graphical representation though and we record it and we project it onto the chart historically. So you can see the auction. You can understand where they're bidding and where they're offering. You're, you're now starting to digest uh, and consume data that is not um, that is outside of the the uh, historical um, uh, transactions and best bid and offer. Okay, it's what's going on outside of those transactions, where they're bidding and offering, and you can start to understand the intent of these guys, like these guys here, starting to pull their liquidity. Okay, but down here at twenty three fifty, they're staying in the book. So uh, you start to gain uh, information. Uh, look at them get with high liquidity here, uh, just above 52, okay? Skewing that auction, and maybe we'll get a push down into this 2350, okay? And we're putting the pieces together here, all right? That's what Bookmap is going to allow you to do, all right? Uh, and uh, that is rather, rather difficult and rather challenging to ascertain from just this dome here, okay? So, anyway... Uh, shake it up a little, little different than uh, I normally cover, uh, but um, uh, that's the advantage that Bookmap uh, can show you, and we're going to get more involved in the, in that process in just a few minutes. Okay, I just want to show you guys a few of the other resources at Bookmap.com under the Education tab. All of these um, webinars are recorded. You can find them under this link here, and you click on the playlist here. That'll take you to our YouTube channel. Uh, and uh, you'll find all of them here. Um, in fact, let me uh, open this up here, and I want to show you just that playlist. 
Okay, this is actually maybe a little more helpful because it lists all of them from the top down. And I'm going to put this into the chat for you uh, if you want to go and review some of the uh, recorded webinars. Okay, uh, this is the one from yesterday. Now, I, I, I lost the data for the other two days, so it's just Monday and Thursday for this week. So it's really, really a pity because we had a nice webinar on Wednesday. Uh, but... Um, uh, anyway, uh, let's move forward here. Uh, other resources, there's another playlist as well for these bookmap uh, order flow video snippets. Again, those, those can be found under the playlists here uh, on our YouTube channel. And where is it here? Um, the um, bookmap order flow right here. Okay, so let's click on that one. I'm going to put this into the chat for you as well. Okay. Uh, I would uh, highly encourage you to watch these and understand um, the concepts uh, within some of these videos. They're very short videos. They're just a few minutes each, as you can see here. Here, this one's actually pretty long, four minutes and 44 seconds. Here, this one's actually, these two are pretty long as well, but you can see the majority of them are around two to three minutes, right? So uh, uh, anyway, um, we look at the market phenomena here in a very concise manner. Um, and um, it's the same thing that we go through during these webinars, except these webinars you can answer questions or ask questions. Uh, we can look at many more features and many more um, uh, market phenomena uh, in Bookmap. Okay? Uh, but these will cover very specific uh, market phenomena, and then you're able to uh, digest that and then move forward with Bookmap. All right? Understand what you're looking at, because uh, you're going to see it repeat again and again. Okay? It's just how these markets are. Uh, so uh, let's move on and uh, let's uh, start with um, uh, integrating bookmap uh, and order flow into our macro view. Or we'll start with a macro view. Then we're going to look at the microstructure uh, in bookmap. And then we're going to look at the order flow. Okay. So that those higher time frame levels is what's of interest. Uh, and uh, regardless of how you trade, it really doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to use some very simple techniques that uh, most people uh, can understand. Uh, and it's not, it's not any sort of um, a trading plan or approach. It's just um, uh, looking at some sort of uh, levels. And then we're going to look at the microstructure. Okay? And, uh, you'll, you'll understand what I'm, I'm talking about here in just a minute. And then we're going to look at that, um, the order flow. And very objectively, we're going to read this. Uh, and that's going to give us insight uh, to uh, anticipated moves, all right? And we'll see this in real time. Okay, and that's what these webinars are, are about, is, is being able to understand how to utilize this tool uh, and answer your questions. And uh, this is going to allow you to pinpoint your entries, your exits, and your trade management, all right? So we'll get into reading the, uh, uh, the order flow here uh, very objectively in, in just a second. But let's start with those higher time frames. Okay, so I'm looking at the ES here on a 30-minute chart. Uh, you can see that um, we had, uh, uh, this was um, uh, post-market uh, yesterday, uh, overnight low down into uh, this uh, 2336 area. Uh, and then we had non-farm this morning right here, okay, at, um, no, that's the open, I'm sorry, 830. Okay, here's your non-farm candle right here. Uh, and you can see we're just getting bashed back and forth. It's, it's looking pretty wicked out there today. Okay, you can see the uh, a nice little uh, a move above the high here at 9.30, uh, the overnight highs that is, okay, not the uh, session from yesterday. Uh, that's up here at 61, okay. Uh, nice liquidity grab up in this area for anyone who was placing their stops down here. And we come right back into the middle of the range and we <laughs> trade almost right back up to the top again. And now we're back in the middle of the range. Okay, so we're all over the place today uh, looking at this 30-minute uh, chart. Let's see if we can get any more insight, okay, looking at the five-minute chart. Wow, now not, not much, not much at all. Um, you know, we're, it's just going back and forth. I mean, we can see the buying here. Uh, down at this area, so let's uh, we're going to just draw a horizontal line in uh, and um, uh, look at uh, what the if we come down into these areas here, uh, we're going to look at the order flow. All right, so around this 46, maybe on up to like 47, 48. Okay, uh, kind of a zone there. We're going to look at. So let me draw that in. 
right? And uh, and you can see we uh, we came back up here and sold right back off. So we're going to see a nice big volume profile. It's going to be uh, uh, nice and fat in the middle uh, with a single distribution for today. Okay. Uh, so um, uh, you know we might we may see a break of that today uh, at some point, but uh, we'll we'll just look at the order flow and and take a look. All right. So these are my levels of interest. It's basically the highs and the lows. All right. I don't really see anything else in the middle here. Maybe, I mean, we did get the retest already, but maybe around this 53 area. All right. Now let's take a look at book map. Okay. All right. And let me zoom out. Okay. Here is our 930 open. Okay. Here's that big move to the upside and a pretty dramatic move right back down and then uh, right back up again and then uh, kind of in the middle here. Okay, here's uh, what the liquidity looks like uh, around that um, 47 to 48 level. Okay, they're actually up a little higher here at 49. And uh, this um, this heat map, uh, you know, is not giving me a, a real, real good uh, reading here. I, I, I don't like it. Um, it's a little too bright for me. So uh, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to uh, click on the contrast configurations. I'm going to bring up the white co uh, cutoff a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to bring down that brightness. Okay, and uh, let's um, let's uh, let's play around with a little bit more here because uh, we're looking at some pretty high levels of liquidity here, and um, I'm just not getting not getting a real good feel for it yet. Okay, usually it just takes me a second here to uh, uh, to to get this. Um, uh, adjusted, but uh, uh, today uh, I want to I want to zero in on what's what's really important. Okay, uh, I don't I, I don't want to see um, some of that longer or some of that uh, uh, shorter term liquidity here. Okay, so for example, uh, this is giving me pretty good insight. Right, uh, look at this 2350 level. Okay, we got the figure here 2350. We know there's going to be uh, buyers down here, and there's going to be liquidity here. Uh, just because of the uh, the figure, uh, came into that, traded through it a couple ticks, and uh, and bounced, came back down, retested, and look at the volume that traded down here. Okay, not a lot, right? Okay, so uh, compared to previously, so you can see, uh, we rotate back up and we get a nice cluster of volume that traded up here now. Okay, so <clears throat> at this moment, in fact, I'm looking for an extension here <coughs> to the upside. Okay, just based on what I'm looking for and putting these pieces together. Liquidity filled, retest, not too much volume, more volume trading up here. Okay, and um, uh, now what we need to see is um, uh, some more uh, aggressive uh, buying coming in here. And uh, maybe we'll get a, a push here uh, on up into, uh, uh, I don't know, around 53 or 54. Okay. Okay, now you can note here as I zoomed out uh, as I zoom out this liquidity down here at 49 starts to show okay, as I zoom back in it kind of disappears right that's because uh, this heat map is always making the calculation based on what's in my chart range okay so you will need to adjust this right and uh, and like I said uh, it, it doesn't take much right in this case I'll just bring down that white cutoff a little bit and voila there it is Okay, so uh, that's all it took, and uh, it's giving me pretty good insight now. I like this view. Okay, I I was uh, mentioning uh, 53, and and here they are. Uh, other traders have this idea as well. Okay, and they're already providing liquidity there. Okay, so uh, now we need to take a look here and um, uh, watch and uh, see if we uh, uh, get some uh, nice green dots here that will move right up into that 53 area. Okay, it's starting starting to see lack of trading at this point. Uh, in fact, okay, look at look at the uh, green dots up here. Not not too big, right? So we're starting to read the tape here. Okay, this isn't about the auction. Okay, the auction's happening between 49 and 53 right now, uh, but uh, we're we're reading the tape at this point. Okay, here we go. Okay, see now look at how that auction actually shifted. Right. Look at how they jumped in here very quickly. These guys at 53 pulled. 
Okay. They jumped in here very aggressively with 929 contracts. Okay. And look at the look at that effect that it had on price immediately. Okay. We see those those green dots, uh, you know, with a, a sharp move to the upside, uh, just three three ticks, just just in an instant. Okay. And uh, that was due to a skew here in the auction. Uh, you know, it, it that helped uh, uh, help that. Um, it's not 100% due to it, uh, you know, nothing is, but uh, uh, you just have to think about this as being an auction. Uh, and uh, with, when you see more aggressive buyers into the, into the auction, jump in just like this, just like right now at 51 and a half, okay, and you see the seller starting to pull, okay, well, you know, you, you get uh, an in, in, um, uh, uh, imbalance in that auction, Okay, there's more buyers than there are sellers. Okay, and it's starting to chase price to the upside. Okay, the green dots that we were looking for. Okay, and there's those are starting to occur. Okay, we haven't come back and tested our 53 area yet, but this is exactly what we were looking for. Okay, based on our, our previous analysis, very objectively, just looking at this auction. Okay, any questions on this? Okay, we go over this every day. And uh, uh, putting these pieces together, okay, it's it's basically just um, uh, almost like a deductive uh, uh, argument or reasoning here. Okay, we came shy of our 53 area, uh, but um, uh, let's uh, we'll continue to watch here if these guys mean business. Okay, so sellers are starting to, you know. They were here earlier, and they're starting to flash or you know show uh, that higher liquidity every now and then. Market and the market's taking note of that. Okay, so let me go through that in this process. Okay, this is this is the process where we go through uh, just to understand the order flow. Okay, we started from that macro view. Looking at our higher time frames, started to analyze the microstructure, and then looking at the order flow. In this order flow, we actually started with this uh, number three part down here, reading the tape. Now, well, that's not true. Uh, we actually saw the high liquidity at, at 23.50, and we saw that it was filled. All right? uh, and then we saw a retest of that area, and there was very little volume that traded down in that area. That's when we're starting to read the tape. And then we saw a move to the upside, and we saw more volume trade at a, at a little higher area. And that's when um, we started to you know, put the pieces together for the tape reading. But it all started from that 2350 area. And we were looking at where are the majority of the players, and how did they behave. Okay? And that can be answered right here. Okay, High liquidity. How did it? How did they behave? They stayed in the book and they traded. Okay, and we know that. Look at look at the transactions that took place here. It's almost all selling, aggressive selling, uh, hitting the bid, and they they got all of these all of these traders here uh, got absorbed. Okay, we can hover over this area. Uh, not a lot of contracts actually. Uh, you know, uh, over um, uh, almost 1,100 contracts, somewhere around there, uh, and. Um, uh, and then you can see that uh, they, 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 they got filled, uh, and then we see the aggressive uh, buying coming in. Okay, get our retest here, uh, and then and it's this cluster here that we were looking at, right? Looking for that extension. Okay, and then we saw the imbalances here. Again, reading, reading the auction at this point here as well. Okay, we were looking for those, we, we saw these imbalances here uh, in that auction, right? And combined with uh, reading that tape. Okay, and here we go again. Okay, so now we're testing our 53 area. Let's see if these guys start to jump back in. All right, I'm still looking for 50 up here, you know, 54, basically. Okay, any questions? Uh, I, I really, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm trying to cover this uh, very, very objectively. 
this isn't wasn't a crystal ball. Uh, it was just putting these pieces together and understanding the the transactions and understanding the auction. Okay, and it, and it, and and we were starting to anticipate this kind of move. Uh, and here we go. Okay, we're we're just getting up to the uh, 54 area now. And now here are the, here are the sellers. Okay, we found them. And they're starting to jump in really aggressively here, 53 and a half. Okay, look at the look at the look at the big big transactions taking place now here. Okay, now these guys are staying in the book, 1500 contra 1550 contracts. Look at how aggressive that is, right at the best offer right now. And primarily, our large lot tracker is showing that it primarily all of this here is one individual actor. Okay. <laughs> It was uh, it was showing that okay it's not now at the moment okay and look at are they we're we can answer very I mean just emphatically here do these guys want to trade and the answer is absolutely they're trading uh, look at look at the transactions taking place right into this very very high liquidity and look at now we've we've traded um, uh, let's let's zoom out or zoom in a little bit more. We've already traded 1,100 contracts here, okay? Uh, and there's still 12, 1,200 and something. I mean, it's these guys are their intent is to get filled, and they are getting filled right now. We we can see the transactions, the green dots taking place right into that liquidity. Okay, this answers that second question for us. That second question is, how do these participants behave when price approaches them? Uh, this goes even a step further. Not only approaches them, trades into them. Okay, and now look at look at the uh, a very very aggressive buying here take place. Okay, uh, potentially a little bit of spoofing type of action right here at 53. All right, and uh, and these guys are now now short. Okay, they they got their fill here. Uh, and they got what they wanted at 53 and a half. Okay, and let me let me cover this area here again. Okay, making up for uh, a little bit of lost time yesterday with the uh, going over the um, uh, CVD, the um, uh, 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 cumulative volume delta. Uh, that uh, we covered in detail yesterday. So if you guys want a review of that, um, then I would uh, I would recommend watching yesterday's webinar. Okay, that's that's up on the YouTube channel. Okay, so that spoofing type of action. Okay, so obviously these guys wanted to get filled, right? Um, we we already answered that question as we saw they stayed in the book and they they were trading. Just a little bit of a push here, right? 1,856 contracts here at 53. Okay, this was before they were filled. Okay, and, uh, and and look at look at this action here. Uh, just just great to see. Okay, very very aggressive uh, in that limit order book. Okay, all of a sudden a skew in the auction. Here's your skew. This is what this looks like. Uh, it would be better to see it even closer, but it's it's um, one two three. It's four ticks away from the uh, best bid. Okay, it's pretty. It's still pretty aggressive, right? At this point here. It, it was uh, it was one tick away, right? Here's that high liquidity, and then all of a sudden, you know, here here's what this this picture looks like here, and then all of a sudden, boom, there are a lot more buyers here. Well, not a lot more, but there are more buyers than there are up here. Okay, see that this is what I mean by skew in the auction. Okay, skew in the book. Okay. And uh, and then we see that uh, these guys they even added more in, okay. And uh, look at the skew now. Look at all these buyers. Think think of your farmers market, and all of a sudden there's all these buyers, okay. And there's there's supply is still the same, okay? or even less supply. You know what happens when there's more demand and less supply? Price goes up, okay. All right, so. The, the 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 and what I mean by um, spoofing type of action uh, is starting to understand the intent of the traders, okay, of these buyers, 
did they really want to buy or was this just high liquidity to uh, 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 you know skew the auction make it look like there was a lot of buyers that would be spoofing okay well they're very aggressive here and uh, no no one no one ever tested them but they uh, uh, so how are you going to prove that this is spoofing um, but you can see here that they didn't stay in there for very long. Uh, they were in this limit order book for a little over 10 seconds, you know, somewhere around 12 seconds or so. And then they then they bailed, they jumped. Okay, that wasn't like these guys. This is this is the difference in the distinction between that that high liquidity that you see in that limit order book that does not have the intent to trade compared to those that do. Okay. These guys here at 53 and a half ha had the intent clearly to trade. Okay, because uh, look at them, they are actually trading at this point. And then, then we traded through them. Okay. So what's going on now? Okay, where's price now? Okay, well, these larger traders here, they, 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 got, uh, they got their trade on. Okay. So we know that larger participants are short here, and we can clearly see that. Okay? Potentially more spoofing here as well, very high liquidity, uh, very short term, okay? followed by a nice little cluster of volume up in here. Okay? So you can, you can uh, start to then put this in pieces together. Okay? And that, you know, I, I don't know what kind of other software is going to be able to show this. Um, you can be able to show this so so visually and so so clearly, but you're starting to understand this zone. Okay, and this is where they we know that there are sellers. Okay. All right. So where are the buyers? Well, that higher liquidity is down here again, at 53. And where are we going? Okay. Okay, and these guys are actually starting to pull some of that higher liquidity as well, and they're down here at 48. All right, and let's uh, let's let's take a step back now. Let's take a look. Okay, what does our bigger picture look like? Okay, we were looking for. Well, this was uh, uh, this was the area here. Let's see between. Uh, uh, 46, 47 and a half or so, so a little bit lower, right? But this is the swing here that we saw at 50, right? So, uh, uh, you know, and we knew that there was going to be high liquidity at 50. Okay, so that's our line here. And uh, now we're just kind of, we see a little bit of back and forth at the moment here. Okay. Okay, but but we know we know that these, these guys... Um, uh, you know, they, they sold. Okay. All right. Any more questions? No, Michael, um, uh, I think you'd asked me this before. Uh, it's not possible to extend that uh, rectangle, but I did put your suggestion in. Okay, so the development team ha has taken a look at that. Um, I, I, the way I would recommend doing doing that, and and the way I've done it on other other platforms, uh, is you know you just got to put in your horizontal lines, um, and uh, uh, that's that's basically it. Uh, you know, a couple of horizontal lines, and then maybe maybe you'll you'll be able to draw in your. Uh, uh, let's get to it here. You know, something like that, right? Let's see. When should you up to the newest beta version? Waiting for the beta to go, new version. Um, well, the uh, it'll be here shortly. I mean, I, I still don't have a release date for you guys, uh, but it will be here shortly. Okay. Um, they uh, are um, are still still working on it, but um, uh, it's um, it's got some really nice features in it. Okay. Pretty pretty uh, pretty uh, important upgrade. Okay. So let me get rid of a few of these lines here. All right. Okay, a little interesting stuff. Okay, so we're getting bashed around here a little bit. Um, 
Okay, we're coming right back to where these guys were selling, right? So I'm I'm keen to know what 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 unfolds here, and I'm just watching and waiting. I'm I'm looking to see what unfolds here. Okay, so um, uh, it, you know, to me, like uh, now we're starting to okay. Here here we go. I mean, uh, uh, look at them getting aggressive here again, right? Uh, on the uh, on the bid, okay, with with higher liquidity in these areas here. Okay, look at this algorithmic activity right here. Okay, I guess this, I don't know why we're seeing this so clearly today. I guess it's because there's a, a little bit less liquidity here. We're in the, you know, kind of mid to high hundreds, whereas in a regular day we'll see into the, the high hundreds and, 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 and thousands of contracts. Okay, but look at, look at how clearly uh, we, can, we can spot this here in Bookmap. And this is pretty indicative of the... Um, uh, 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 was uh, been a long week. Uh, looking at the um, uh, you know the uh, less less liquid markets like oil or gold or something like that, you can spot that high liquidity very very easily, and you can understand their algorithmic activity uh, just as clear as this. Okay, I mean we're pretty pretty sure this has got to be the the same individual actor with these uh, uh, you know 1,100 contracts here. Okay, 1,161. Now, not all of them are that actor, right? In fact, our large lot tracker is showing like a little less than half of them uh, are that one individual actor. Okay, pulls the liquidity from uh, 52, moves it up a tick, uh, then pulls it from there and moves it up one more tick at the same time. Okay, and that's going to be skewing this auction. Okay, again, of, uh, you know, uh, understanding that skew and look at look at very aggressive here back at 53 okay and uh, they're one tick away from the um, from the best bid uh, with high liquidity at 53 okay chase the market right up it's probably going to scare price away uh, no it didn't okay and they still still here in fact it did come into them in fact Look at this little area here. It, the, it was the this high liquidity was the uh, the best bid for for a moment here. Okay, so is that spoofing? Well, not not really at that point, right? I mean, they the intent to trade is they're showing intent. Okay, now they pull here. Okay, uh, let's see here. A few more questions, and then we'll wrap it up and uh, call it a week. Uh, is there a way to eliminate the lines on the chart? Yes, there is. Uh, Seth, my, my large lot tracker settings, uh, they are default. Okay. So it's just at, oh, they weren't. Okay. Um, it was a little off. It was like 15% maybe, and then 10%. Uh, okay. That uh, yeah, it's 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 default now, right? So uh, twenty percent and then uh, ten percent here, and then uh, Robert. Okay, so let's um, let's eliminate some of these lines here. Okay, so let's click on the um, on on this tool, configuration tool here. Okay, and uh, horizontal grid, you can take that off as well as a vertical grid here if you want, All right? I prefer them, so I keep them on. Uh, but um, anyway, uh, pretty interesting. Again, uh, you know, we're seeing, I mean, just reading the tape here in the order flow, I mean, now we're, we're channeling between these two high areas. We know that there's sellers up here, okay? But we're seeing a lot of buying interest too, right? So uh, uh, you know maybe these guys were covering uh, from their uh, their buys, uh, and uh, and maybe uh, we see reaccumulation. I don't know. Uh, you know it's um, or you know we we uh, I mean these guys they're, they're st it's still holding pretty you know pretty strongly. They haven't traded through these guys yet, right? Uh, or maybe they even want to get more size on up here. Well. We don't know, but we're going to read. We're going to read the auction, and we're going to read the tape, uh, and we're going to put it together. Okay, we know that they're here. Okay, now if they're getting positioned here, uh, and they're going to flip out if price comes against them, we're going to see a nice move to the upside. Okay, uh, these guys will fuel the fire up to the upside. 
right? Uh, or are they going to continue to add in here, uh, and then we'll see a retest and get our retest to uh, 50, and uh, I imagine even below, right? I'm kind of banking on that one right now, to be honest, um, or not banking, but uh, I, I'm looking, I'm in starting to anticipate some of that, uh, and um, the reason being is, um, well, actually, the the yeah, being objective about it, we we really don't see much right now. Uh, I need to see right here, right now. I need to see some some pretty big uh, red dots uh, take place, and I want to see these guys lower the offer uh, down maybe to you know 53 or so. Okay, uh, and then I'm looking for. I want to see them hit this bid really aggressively right now. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. And uh, this is not very aggressive right now. Uh, let's see, Frank. Welcome, Frank. Um, how do you get two circles in the lower right-hand corner? Ah, okay. Yeah, just click on, th this is for the um, indicator panel for the CVD, which is uh, part of our new API in Bookmap, where you can write your own indicators and tra automated trading strategies. Okay. Uh, it might be, um, uh, closed so what you need to do is first under the API here select CVD okay the cumulative volume Delta and then uh, you may need to open up this panel okay uh, it's underneath the price ladder here just click on the arrow and it'll open up and then you click on the little sprocket here okay and uh, when it's blue it means that it is displayed and showing right so um, uh, there's two different um, displays here. One is actually for the uh, display in the indicator panel and that is this icon. Okay, as you can see the green line disappears. And then the other one right to the right of it is for the widget panel here. And you can see that that will display or not. All right. Uh, let's see, Robert, uh, can you take the lines You're drawing off at once? Uh, you have to do them individually. And for the line, uh, so you, Robert, these are these are maybe trend lines or horizontal lines that you drew. Is that right? If so, then you'll need to um, delete those individually. There's no a delete all button for those. Okay. Um, yeah, and if it's higher than uh, what you can see, well, there's a few different ways. Uh, you might be able to do it by um, uh, just, you know, if you hover over the price ladder uh, and then left click, hold, and drag, you can kind of squeeze and expand the chart vertically. Or uh, if you um, right click on the, uh, on the chart, uh, on the price ladder, okay, and let's um, select recenter as none, okay, and then I'm going to hold down the control key here. Okay, and note that my double arrow turns into uh, a hand, and I can left click, hold with the control key down, and I can drag up, all right? And then you can, you, you'll can you be able to delete it that way. Okay, if you wanna get back to where you were, uh, you can either, there's a few different ways. You can double click on the price ladder, and that will um, recenter it automatically. Okay, or let's go back to where we were, okay? Or uh, we can uh, right click here and uh, we can go to one of the other options. Okay, we can go to um, uh, recenter last price, uh, recenter now, or we can go recenter auto. And I, I kind of prefer the auto. Uh, I like the way that uh, it does this. Uh, I can still see all the microstructure within my view here. Okay, uh, London close on Friday, likely to be slow the rest of the day. I have no idea, uh, Michael. Um, I mean, I see nice, nice cluster of, of volume that traded down here. Uh, and, um, you know, uh, we haven't seen anything today so far, even on the higher time frames. Uh, look, look at our, look at our uh, volume profile, right? It's just uh, that one nice big uh, single distribution. Okay, the VWAP is right at basically the uh, uh, point of control. Okay, uh, but um, 
Uh, we'll see. You know, I mean, um, I, I'm still looking for 50. I'm looking for 50 here uh, and below to get tested. Right. And and just based on what we saw earlier, these guys getting positioned up here. Hey, but but the I'm I'm still. Um, uh, I mean, we can see that they're still in, right? Uh, but I'm, I'm not seeing any kind of uh, insight here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, they're starting to pull here. Okay, that, that we noticed earlier. Okay, that's good, right? I want to see them get more aggressive with their uh, offers and lower them. And I want to see big red dots. And, and this is exactly not it, right? This is not what we're looking for right in this area. Okay, in fact, at 51, they're starting to come back into the market. Okay, so this isn't giving me that insight uh, that we're piecing together uh, by reading the, objectively reading the auction and the, and the trans, transactions. Okay, so we're, we're not really getting insight right now. Okay, so uh, at the moment, this is what we know. All right. All right, guys. Well, uh, I've been going for 45 minutes. Uh, let's uh, let's call it a day, and uh, we will uh, catch up with you guys next week. Uh, if you want to register for next week's uh, webinar series, uh, let me show you where that is. Okay. In fact, maybe I can put this into the chat for you uh, as well. Hold on. Okay. Uh, it's when you come into your uh, portal area at Bookmap. You can click on this this button here, register for webinar. Uh, for those of you who are not members, let me uh, I'm going to put this into the chat for you. There you go. So you can click on that link and then register. All right, all right, yeah, thanks, Seth. Um, all right, guys, we'll uh, have a good weekend and we'll catch up with you on Monday.